<laughs> hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Eric. I'm Ty. And we are Shantoto Cast. We are back again. With um, another unboxing. We well, did our Cloud vs. Sephiroth one. Yep. We're working on something in the meantime, but... We, the tins also came out. It's weird, because this is like a really weird part... A re really weird stretch of Final Fantasy where we got the Sephiroth stuff like yep. a week and a half ago. And then, and then we have these. We have the tins, and, and then, then we have Opus week, 11. And then we have a pre-release. Yep. And then the week after that's the release. Yep. So it's just... Con and then two weeks after that is Final Fantasy VII Remake. Right? right. Just one thing after another after another. It just doesn't end. Yeah, this has been a great season for Final Fantasy. <laughs> True that, man. Well, I mean, hey, you know, it's great that we all are forced to stay indoors now. Yeah. Um, yeah. We can just hole up and play Final Fantasy. Yeah. It's great. That, yeah. you know, that's also why we're ending. Yeah, uh, obviously. For those of you who know that joke. Uh, it's the world as we know it, and I feel fine. Yeah. <laughs> it's, the, it's the end of the world, and I feel fine. That, that's combining the two. The end of the world, as we, oh, as we know yeah. it, and I and feel fine. There it is. Whoops. I feel fine. Welcome to the command zone yeah. where we sing before every episode. <laughs> oh, man. Um, anyway. Yeah. So, in front of us, we have three of these tins, but we only own two of them. Yeah. Uh, one of them is for our buddy Matt. Yeah. Uh, hey, Devin. On the bird, uh, suburbs. Hey, Matt. Love you. <laughs> if, if we're not allowed to do it, we'll ask him. If I'm not allowed to do that, just censor. Yeah, I'll just censor. I'm going to give you a little work here. Just yeah. put in Shintoto's fire or something. Yeah. Um, but what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to let Ty pick his tin. Uh -huh. I'll pick my tin. And then we have whichever one is left over is our buddy Matt. Yeah. And then uh, I will... Later on in another video, we can give an update on let you yeah. guys know what, what good stuff he got. Yeah. So, so as we know from this Cloud vs. Sephiroth video, there's only mm -hmm. one way to pick it. Can I pick first, or do you want to? You pick go first? ahead, Ty. Right, cool. Eeny meeny miny mo. Catch the tiger by the toe. If he howls, let him go. Eeny meeny miny mo. My mother took the full of me. This one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So now, now that you now you picked yeah, that one, mine. yeah, I am going to pick this one. Okay. And now. I will give you the chance to switch with me. No, I'm fine with this. No? Yeah, I'm yeah, okay. 100%. You good? I, okay. I, I did the scientific method error. Okay. I have to. All right. So this third one here, this one's going to our buddy Matt. Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't get the good stuff. Yeah. Though, casual reminder, if you pull foil Shantoto, I'm quitting. <laughs> <laughs> if I pull foil Shantoto, I will own you. Okay, sure. Because then I can just trade for whatever you yeah. have. Yeah, basically. You get whatever you want. Do you have a dice? Let's, dice, let's roll to see who goes first. Oh, uh, you can go ahead. All right, cool. I'll let you select right, yeah. first, so you can go. You can pull your stuff first. Okay, Let's so do it. Cool. plastic. Plastic is easy to get off, which yeah. is nice. Yeah, instead of like Yu-Gi-Oh, where you need to have like a knife on this. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, upside down. There we go. Letting it focus on it. You can see okay. the shiny Tifa. I I actually do really like this art. I do think it's a little weird because this is Advent Children art, right? Mm -hmm. It's a little dated. Almost. I mean, yeah, but it's still not bad. It still so, holds up a bit. It does. It looks nice. I just think it's weird that they're not using remake art. Oh, oh hello? Okay. Okay, it's glued in. Interesting. And then we have... I mean, I'd rather have that geez. than it not bouncing, or, you know, than it bouncing around. Oh, my world. God. I forgot that it's 10 packs. Yeah. It didn't. Wow. Th yeah, uh, yeah. Well, oh, ooh, that glue is... Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sticky. <laughs> Do you see what I was talking Wow, about? that was sticking to the playmat. And then the inside's gold. Just, you could actually see our camera. Ooh. Um... Yes. It's yeah, nice. by the way, uh, trying out a new camera system, uh, mm -hmm. I figured out how to get my good camera hooked up to my computer as yeah. opposed to just a webcam. Let us know how you guys, if you can notice any, dis you know, there's any discernible difference in quality. That'd be yeah. great for your feedback. Yeah. So as we mentioned, literally every single episode, we used to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Mm -hmm. And they used to have tins kind of like this. But the big difference between this and Yu-Gi-Oh! is, number one, all these cards are good. <laughs> uh, number two, like... The one thing it does share is that, like, these aren't always the best packs, right? Mm -hmm. Like, Opus right. 1, Opus 2, Opus 3. Yeah. Not wonderful, but they're still staples, and they kind of understand that there's a lot of people getting into the game now since yeah. Cloud vs. Sephiroth came out. So this is good. It, it makes it easier for people to get Opus 1 packs and, you know, nah, and then Opus 3 packs <laughs> to get Zidane's and basically nothing else. Um, yeah. And then, yeah. of course, there's an Opus 10 pack, but... Right. All right, let's open up the... So, because Yu-Gi-Oh! tins usually only come with about four to four to six packs. Yeah. Uh, and it's, you know, the reprints in there are high rarity. Oh, those are the old... The Mega Packs, there's only three. But Mega Packs are larger than normal packs. No, I'm talking about stuff. Like, even, like, the Kaiba Collection stuff was only, like, six packs. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Which is why I was blown yeah. away. I mean, you get two secrets per, but they might not be good God. secrets. Oh, my God. The Shish Toll looks uh, a lot better than I thought it a would. A formerly China-exclusive promo, by the way. Yeah. 
So I need to get used to the fact that this camera actually focuses, but it's eh, whatever. Yeah, very it nice. Light weird too, and even the house Felger looks nice. Yeah, no, the, these these promos yeah. are absolutely awesome. Yeah. I cannot wait to throw them in my binder. Yeah. I'm not and using them. <laughs> the thing is, these are all cards that you use. Like, House of Elgar is probably the least used card out of all three of those. But, I mean, for and a while... It's, and it still shows up every here and there. Yeah. Like, being able to just banish their break zone every turn is still decent. Right? Well, I mean, for yeah. a while, it was more expensive than Nidhogg. Yeah. For whatever reason. Yeah, I think it... It might still be. I'm not sure. I mean, last I checked, it was a $6 card, but it probably diminished since then. So, I'm gonna go in order. Okay. Opus 10... First. Uh, I will laugh if I get a full art. Like, just that would be right hilarious. Furion, Alice, nothing. Oof. Oof. That sucks. Yep. Focus one. I'm trying to see. I assume. Oh. Ooh, hey, lightning. Nice. Oh, special. Oh, that's a starter. Interesting. Yeah. Hey! Oh! <laughs> Welcome to High the Total Cast, boys. Let's go. Represent. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. We, we take those back to Shintonos. <laughs> All right, that's my fifth one. Ooh. Nice. Very happy about that. Um, oh, Star starter Tifa. Tifa. Wow. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to get good stuff out of yeah. these packs. I am kind of laughing over the fact that I get two starters. And then um, someone mentioned on the Reddit about potentially reprinting the anthems. Mm -hmm. It's nice that we're getting them here. Oh, yeah, um, absolutely. I, I'm not surprised they reprinted them here. So that's up a swung pack. Mm -hmm. uh, Kafka. Not terrible. And Delita. Okay. Oh, Vanille's oh, Vanille, right, right, right. Yeah, it's high. Vanille's not bad. Already gotten into the habit of yeah. newer stuff. But it is yeah. funny that this is, like, the worst pack and it's still decent. <laughs> yeah, right? Like, you still got decent value out of that. All right, Opus 2 now. Ooh. Well, what can... I think the only really good pull out of Opus 2 is Adia. Kiros. That pain's not terrible. Oh, oh Fasoya. Fasoya. Okay. Yeah. Useful. Trade yes. bait. There's not two... Like, let's see. Alcid, Fasoya... Mm -hmm. Um, Amon. Adia. Amon. Hey, Amon's kind of okay. Amon. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's just stopped seeing play. Right. Um, well, there's just better stuff out there. Ward. Right now. We actually got into our worst cards episode. Uh, <laughs> Edward, my boy. And then and Rubicant. Rubicant. Which was also on the worst cards episode. <laughs> wow. That's a, that's a <laughs> there sad you go. Yeah. <laughs> Had to get two on there. Yep. What the... There we go. Okay. Capricious, blah, blah, blah. Agrius. Agrius. Ooh, that's a nice looking Agrius. Shulk. Shulk. Okay. okay. Yeah, once again. That's a pack. Yeah. It's a pack. Opus 2 did exactly what it was supposed to. Do nothing. Yeah. Uh, oh, shit. Nice. Well, I've never even held a foil girl in it before. Is it a foil? Oh, it's yeah. a foil. Wow, it's so subtle. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of hard to wow. see. Wow. At least nice. on our end, yeah. Well, right. nice. Even on the camera, like from what I can see, you could barely. Oh, see Oh yeah, it, it is yeah. really yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah, this was this was good. <laughs> nice. The funny thing is, I just traded for a garnet, but garnet's value's fallen so much that I it broke was... and I just bought it for five bucks. Yeah, Odin. It was the only card I never pulled. Earth. Oh, that's another. Okay. Interesting. Sweet. I'm also trying to find. Oh no, uh, this stains an H. <laughs> and then. Bu bu oh hey, literally nice. speak of the devil and Minerva. Minerva. Okay. Okay. Pretty yeah. Good. That was. You got a pretty okay, good team, Yeah, dude. that just knocked it out of the park for me. Solid. Um, so, obviously, not everyone's going to pull this well. But at the same time... I mean, your chances are pretty good. Yeah. So. But 10 packs... Uh, this, these were 40, right? Uh, 45. These were 45. Well, with my discount, yeah. they were less. 45 is MSRP Well, like, yeah, these, MSRP is 45. Which, we'll get into talking about the value of it, or the yeah. raw value, in a little bit. Uh, but first, let's finish the cost of, Yeah, I just throw it all. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. So here's my tin. Yeah. If I could... How did you snap yours open? Would you... Mine was already, like, a little off. Did you have... Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. After you... Once you get that first little bit of it... Yeah. Plastic noises. Yeah. Okay. Yo, I got a Tifa, too! Oh! Dude! Oh, no way! There's this full art! Sweet! <laughs> All right, cool. So... There we go. My glue stayed in the box. Mm -hmm. So I'll do my Opus... T Actually, you know what? I'll do mine in reverse order here. So you're starting from Opus So three. I'll start Opus 10, and then I'll do everything Opus 3. I did three. Opus 10 first. I know, but oh, I'm going to do okay. it, everything else in reverse order. 10, 3, 2, 1. Oh, Ace. starter card. And Bosh. Blech. Yeah. It's weird, like, after opening up nine packs of where it's in the back. Yeah, right? Uh, but yeah, Ace All isn't right. terrible. He's not a full art. But... I mean, having a foil is nice. Yeah. Kazusa and Garland. Garland. 
Yeah, okay. Was that Garland? Oh my god, Garland? wait. He's an H, right? Oh! Uh, oh, oh, oh. Three whoa, out of whoa. four Archfiends the right loss. next to each other. Yeah. Oh, oh man. something that I think is a little interesting. Might as well point this out. Sure. Uh, is that an H? Yeah, that's an H. Yeah. Um, you could tell that these are old packs because they still have. Yeah, that. the old, yeah. Because we don't know if they're ever going to update those card frames outside of reprinting. Mm -hmm. I assume they're not going to. Yeah, they probably won't. Yeah. All but right. it is funny that you got three of the Archfiends. Chaos Walker foil. Ooh, three of them. Okay. I'm original Chaos with that. Walker, too. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. That's fine. I mean, Chaos Walker, in my opinion, is still a really good card. Oh, yeah, these are. If we get a more widespread, like, Yuna effects. Yeah. If we get a more widespread dimension dimensional vision, that guy's going to be nuts, so. Seodor. Seodor. My boy. And well, Soldier. Wow. I want to say my nah. boy, but I never finished that game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there's those. Yeah, that was kind of weak. That was on pretty Opus weak. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's okay. I've got enough Opus three. And now you're going into Opus two, another very strong set. <laughs> I will laugh if I get all the good cards that you didn't. No, nope, just kidding. Oh, uh, hey. okay. Yeah, uh, speaking of the double. Yeah. Yeah. Mentioned them earlier. That's not a card I need, but yeah, fine. The card you already have a place out and a half of. Uh, more than that. Oh boy. Mm. Uh, Friend and Doctor Sid. I keep seeing people running him, and it's weird because. I mean, I remember when he was still... People thought he was an anti-Veritas play. Yeah. That was fun. Wait. I forget. Is he an anti-Veritas play? No. I'm pretty sure he's not. I want to back no. up the controls. Oh. Oh, yeah. Broken. Because it's... Uh... Yeah, it's put in the break, so Interesting. with Veritas. I don't know why people are still running him. Interesting. Don't know. Warrior. All oh, Sid. Oh, okay. Hey, hey cool. Yeah. That's all right. Well, that's probably the... That also an idea are like probably the two best cards you can pull out yeah. of that set. And that that I'm not upset about because yeah. also it's not crazy useful anymore. Like it's yeah. still a nice card, but I you know, hey, more is more. Yeah. It's nice. So if I could come on. Really? Nope. Think of my stupid fingers. Oh, this one's given. Oh, Zalbog two balls, and one. Emperor. Oh my god, I have like nine of that card. I just can't yeah. get rid of them because nobody wants it. Thinking on it, this one wouldn't have been a bad card for the worst cards episode. But at the same time it's a five drop nine K. Yeah, it's on curve, um, and so it does, it's got that. It replays itself, but drawing into multiples is yeah. hell. Yeah. All right. I'm hoping for a Shantoto also. Ishtola. Mm -hmm. Ishtola. Oh. Shantoto. Oh. And Gordon. Wow. Oh, wait, no, the car, the... Oh, yeah, yeah, never mind. That's, it's yeah. It's at the back. The head, second, no. I was just like, no, it's right next to it. <laughs> okay, last chance for a Shantoto. Hey, it was in your first pack, Ty. It was yeah. in your first pack. Let's see if I can get that luck. So your problem was that you opened it in the wrong order. Valfour oh, well. and Kefka. Kefka. Ah, oh, wow. Yeah. Well, that's disappointing. So, as I said earlier, <laughs> the thing is, I got really lucky with mine. That's what happens when you don't really get lucky. Because <laughs> you get, because, let's see, out of this pack, you've pulled uh, three L's. Yep. Because you got Delita, Almon, and Valifor. Yeah, Tempers and H, yeah. Yeah. So, let's put the L's yeah. together. Yeah, here. and one starter card. Yep. So yeah, so this is kind of like the lower end of what can happen to yeah. you. Yeah. Oh yeah. In the middle. Yeah. yeah. So. But it's still a. It's meh. Shantoto. Woo. Yeah, I hate you. Yeah. I would. I could have really. I would have loved that. <laughs> Who doesn't want extra Shantotos, Ty? Yeah, honestly, it's almost like I pushed to make the name of this podcast Shantoto Cast. Yeah, I know. I was but, there. Yeah. So to talk about value really quick. But that was a quick opening. Like yeah. we're already we're already basically done. And this is gonna be still a short episode, but um to talk about value for a minute, like so the promos are really nice, right? If you want this Tifa foil, it's I think still like five, six bucks. Mm hmm If you want this Hasvelger foil, that's about the same. Yeah. Maybe probably closer to ten. I haven't checked it recently. This Yushtola foil though was about thirty. So, the fact that you're getting that Yushtola, which is about a $30 value. Yep. And 10 packs, which would be about a $40 value, is still good. It's, for raw, like, MSRP, it's fine. Yeah. The only problem is that it's Opus 1, 2, and 3, which now doesn't have a great ratio. Like, I got super lucky. Like, the Zidane was amazing. Yeah, it's that, hot. That's one of the best things to pull out of a Honestly, three right that now. Zidane, the Garnet, mm -hmm. and the Shantoto, yeah. you could just forget the rest of it. Exactly. Like, the thing is, I didn't even pull, like, Opus 2 was basically dead for me. Mm -hmm. um, like, the closest good thing that I got was the Fasoya. Um, but when it came to Opus 1, Foil Kafka is still solid. That Delita's still seeing a little play. Well, the Vanille's, Vanille's okay, good. yeah. 
Starter Tifa's okay, I guess. Uh, but the big thing about it was Shintoto. Like, Shintoto is the money card out of that. Mm-hmm. Um, and if you don't really pull that money card out... Oh, I just realized I got a ramp here, too. Yeah. Um, if you don't pull those money cards, you get nothing. You lose. Yeah, days, you or, do lose, yeah. Um, but, once again, if you're a new player, if you or if you just really like cracking packs, mm-hmm. it's not a bad buy. And you yeah. get this cool tin with it. I mean, like, honestly, the, the tin yeah. itself as an object yeah. is a, not a bad value. Yeah. Like I'm not... I'll admit I'm not crazy about tins. Yeah, I don't really care either. Because in Yu-Gi-Oh, I really like them. But after you buy, after you buy two or three, you're just like, okay, I don't really want these mm-hmm. anymore. I'm gonna keep it around as just like a little collector's item. But, right. Um, you know, I didn't buy it for the tins. Some people might. Yeah. Uh, I bought it for the cards, and these are still good mm-hmm. cards. Like I said, got insane value. Um, yeah. But at the same time, you can mm-hmm. whiff. Like it's it's a very much so possibility. Yep. Um. So that's my end. How do you how do you feel about it? Um. As the guy who pulled less, I'm still not upset. Yeah. Um, Because, again, I like the tin itself. Mm. Like, I think it, you know, visually it's appealing. Uh, It's going to be, it's going to go in my collection, right? Like, I have, I'll show it off sometime, but I have a little ledge on my, in my apartment of just Final Fantasy TCG stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, So that's going to go on there as kind of one of my, one of my collector's items. Um, As for the cards inside... Promos are awesome. Uh, I'm, as somebody who doesn't live in China, I'm glad that we were able to get the China exclusive stuff. Yeah. Um, that you know, and and I wouldn't have minded if they left them China like in Chinese. Yeah. Like if they left them in whichever Chinese dialect they were printed in. Yeah. Um, I would have been fine with that, but yeah. we got them translated to English, which is awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, which means they're more usable here. Uh, the Tifa is. A really cool looking card. I don't even like her as a character all that much. Hot mm-hmm. take. Um, yeah. So like I, I'm, I'm relatively pleased with all of it. Like I'm gonna trade away all these cards, these L's, mm-hmm. and like some of these foils, sure. But like, it's still okay. It's a decent value. And like you said, for a new player, you really there's nothing bad for a new player. Yeah. There just isn't in this game. Yeah. So, you know, if you're a new player, absolutely spring for this. Um, Actually, I might hit you up about that lightning later. Yeah, because I kind of need that one. We'll see. Um, title, baby. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so um, yeah, no, like, it, it's a good value. It's pretty. It's pretty all right. Um, I wasn't expecting anything, you know, mind blowing from it. I wasn't yeah. expecting like, oh yeah, a foil L and a and you know a non foil L every pack. Yeah. Like, no, they're not going to rig them like that. That's but. the thing. And literally every single card game channel tells you this. Um, to list a couple like Simo always says this mm-hmm. the professor says this yep buy singles if you need cards yep if you need any card from opus one two or three buy singles mm-hmm. uh nine times out of ten you're it's you're gonna save a lot of money just buying right. the singles that you like need. enough product yeah. has been cracked by players and collectors and shops that yeah. you will get what you need but at the same time if you are a new player and if you don't know what you want if you're not building specifically toward the mm-hmm. deck this isn't a bad value yeah it's not bad to start out on definitely because um i think they uh Squeenix basically said that they're never going to make something out of print. If something has demand, they're going to print more of it. Yep. But this is still not a bad excuse to buy some Opus 1 and 3. Yeah, definitely. Like, a lot of people like to forget that Opus 1 and 3 are still pretty decent. I yeah. still see a lot of cards, especially 3. 3 is an Opus that, like, everybody kind of poops on. Yeah. But other than that, it's still good. So I ultimately... Like, if you want to buy this, especially if you need a Yishtola, especially if you need... If you want that Tifa, like, I'll say this is a, a buy. Yeah, it is um, a buy. I'm not going to call it a must buy. Right. But for starting players, this is really good. For veteran players, you know, you get to foil out and just, you know, get some cool stuff. Um, so it's, I'd call it a buy if you can. Uh, it's not a mandatory. Yeah. I wouldn't give this, like, the crazy thumbs up that we gave the dual decks. Right, no, this is getting, like, a good 7.5 or 8 out of 10 for me. Yeah. Like, it's I, not I, an amazing, yeah. like, go out and, get, you know, clear yeah. out your LGS, yeah. but... Yeah. See, I give this, I give this a 10 out of 10. Of course Because of that, do. girl. But, you know, sh- mm, mm. <laughs> Um, but if not, then, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so... I, don't think there's much more to say on it. Yeah, I think um, that's about it. Yeah, it's pretty much, yeah, go ahead and buy it. Yeah, cool. Uh, yeah. If you want, yeah. yeah. Or if you don't, whatever. Yeah. All right, thanks for watching. <laughs> uh, time to move on to our next video. Yep. You guys are going to yeah. enjoy that one. That one's going to be yeah. a fun one, so stick around. Oof. Releasing April, in early, super early April.